But I would say this, for young musicians, never worry about the money, okay? Don't ever do anything for money. You will find a way to survive. You'll find a way to put some food on that table, and you'll find a way to feed those kids. As you know, you've got kids. Are the kids starving? No. Have they missed a meal? Everything's fine. Right. And you had to do what you had to do. I mean, you, you have day, day job before you were resistant? Uh, I mixed up. I, I did both. I did yeah. Small jobs. To yeah, right. You do, you do what you have to do. And, that, and having a day job doesn't make you any less of a musician, you know, you, because you can be a great musician, and there are great musicians like Wynn Marcellus, and Wynn Marcellus has got like seven kids with seven different mothers all around the world. And I'd say, well, you, the truth say, well, William, you letting Wynn and stuff out the bed. But it's public information. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. You never heard that? Okay. Okay. You never heard that. I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Kind of stuff. Who's interested in that stuff? What I'm saying is that you can be the greatest person <coughs> in the world and you got to take care of your kids. That's yeah. important too. You got to take care of your home. So just being able to play great. You know, and everybody hates you, like Tete Montalou, the pianist mm -hmm. in, uh, in Spain. When he died, he was the only one that showed up to his funeral. Mm. They had to pay people to show up to his funeral. Wow. They said, please, could we give you 10 bucks to just show up to Pepe's really? for Tete's funeral? Because exactly. nobody liked him. Now, of course, he was blind, and he had, he had a bad attitude. Mm. That's you know, and you can't get any worse than a blind man with a bad attitude. You know? So the thing is that, um, so, so you also want people to like you, you want to be, you want to have good music, you want to be loved, and you want to, uh, like a cat like Don Cherry, Dennis Charles, John Coltrane, everybody loved them cats. Mm -hmm. You know, because they, they, were, they were just great people. You know, so you also want to develop not just your music, but you want to develop your personality, you want to be generous with people, you want to give the people, you want to be um, be a whole person. Because, you know, it's like, you know, like Miles, and this is this is what I learned too. Like Miles Davis, you know, like you, you go up to Miles, or go up to Freddie Hubbard sometimes, and these cats, they'll like be the, you know, like they just play the most beautiful ballad in the world. Oh, this ballad's beautiful. Oh, oh, Miles, oh, Freddie, oh, you played such a beautiful ballad. Then after the ballad, you say, Oh, hello, Mr. Hubbard. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just going to tell you how beautiful your plan was, Mr. Mr. Hubbard, and I bought all your records for the last 20 years. Get out of my face. I kick you down the stairs. <laughs> so then you say, man, how can this guy, Freddie Hubbard, play such beautiful music and be such a, a guy off the bandstand? Because when Freddie Hubbard picked up his instrument, he became a different person. Mm. And then I knew that the personality of a musician has nothing to do with the music that comes through mm. most of the time. The music was coming through Freddie Hubbard and through Miles Davis and through, and through Mingus and all these like people who were kind of like, you know, and, uh, and it had nothing to do with them. And then that's when I figured out that the music comes from someplace else. Mm. The music that is that we are like we are we are vehicles through which the music travels. The music already exists. Man did not invent music. Music was here when we got here. So we we come out the womb, I can't do what Ornette Coleman says, um, well, I won't tell you what Ornette Coleman says, because that's that's vulgar. But anyway <laughs> <laughs> we I'll call it the womb. And you can think what he called it. <laughs> but we come out the womb, and music is already there waiting for us. So all we do is just, you know, we do what we do, play basketball, we sing, we do what we do. And then all of a sudden, we discover we fall into this flow of music. And it says, wow. And then we want to be musicians. And then all we got to do is just basically tap into what we're supposed to be doing. And a reason 